and good morning, good evening, good afternoon, students and traders all around the world. This is Mike, the FX Boss, broadcasting you live on YouTube and other streaming platforms. Happy Monday! How is everybody? Hello to you. Yeah, today it's 25th of March. Wow, almost there. <laughs> April, right? April is, April is full day, first. Wow, it's going to be Monday. I need to trick you, everybody. <clears throat> I need to, I need to find some great tricks, right? And sound check, sound check. All right. So hopefully the the sound is alright. All right, everybody, welcome to the Professional Forex Trading Course 101, powered by Duca Scopi, of course, and the partners. Never forget, you're going to graduate from the course when you have a complete understanding on how this market works, so you can analyze the market and make an educated prediction. Therefore, we are working on Fibonacci's, right? Fibonacci's. For questions and homeworks, here is my Gmail and here is Skype for extra webinars, seminars. We are currently having the four week workshop, learn how to hedge as a professional, learn how to protect your positions on stop loss and drawdowns, right? Not that easy, learn how to hedge as a pro, not that easy. And remember, everybody, if you want to receive the free Forex Course 101 manual, this is this one. And give it a second. So starting from up in here on the road to becoming a professional trader, professional Forex Course 101, the market phase. All right. If you want to how this one how this one how this one so if you want to receive the free manual you need to open an account with darwin x zero you have the discount code track record and then send me an email right that being said adjusting the contrarian fibonacci in a downturn so let's talk about a nice pair it's nzd cat all right, as decade, it's a nice tradable pair for the beginner trader. Not that difficult. And before we go, before we go there, just quickly, this is the contrarian. This is the three Fibonacci. That's the one. That's the one. All right, the original Fibonacci. Just quick recap of the rules, everybody. The original Fibonacci, we use the original Fibonacci to determine trend direction. Then we compare trend direction from the larger time frame to the lower time frame. And this is called an alignment. The last thing we need to identify is in what zone are the Fibonacci on the larger time frame and the smaller time frame. Meaning, are they tra trending in the same direction or not? Okay, things to remember the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame. The Fibonacci is stronger than the trend line. You want to buy or sell the capital C and profit take at the D, and you are going to find the capital C using the contrarian Fibonacci. Any questions in here? I believe it's no brainer, right? Yeah, we are still building the website. It's going to take some time. Sorry about that. And now, how to use the three Fibonacci? The contrarian Fibonacci. Number one, we use the contrarian Fibonacci to trade retracements, which is risky. And number two, to find the capital C of the original Fibonacci, all right? Trading rules until the sub the extension. So the smaller one 
of the contrarian Fibonacci is still inside the capital AB boundary, the big one, the original one, you are entering trades with a probability 50-50%. What does this mean? Fibonacci, when it's 50-50, the, the price action can go up, but then it can reverse and it can come back. Make sense, everybody? I had Melissa last time asking this question. And it's a really great question, everybody. Melissa was asking, oh, what, what is about, what is this? What does this mean if it's 50-50 if it's or 80-20, or right? So if this would be, everybody give me a second and something like this, all right? So you have capital A in here, capital A, you have capital B, and you have capital C, all right? And then you have the you have the contrarian Fibonacci. And we're going to change colors, right? And levels. Contrarian Fibonacci, all right. So here you have everybody. The, we're going to change colors as always. It's going to be called the sub D extension, right? Sub D. All right. Now, this is the sub D extension on the contrarian. So our capital C is not confirmed, right? What does this mean? This means that when we enter the market buying the original Fibonacci, with a counter trend line break. And maybe there is a crown, right? So we are buying the original Fibonacci, but the C is not confirmed. We say it's 50 50, right? What does this mean? This means that the market as a price section can go up, right? But then it can go down too into deeper levels. Make sense, everybody? This is what it means when we say that if you find the sub D extension, right? If you, if the sub D extension of the contrarian Fibonacci, the smaller one, is still inside the AB boundary of the original Fibonacci, of the big one, you are entering trades with the probability 50-50. Right? Price action can reverse and can go back into deeper retracements. Number two, but if you can find the contrarian Fibonacci with the projected sub D extension, again, the smaller one, above or below the capital A, as from this picture, See in here, everybody, the sub D extension, it's above the A. Then this means that you found the capital C. This C is confirmed. So you are entering a Fibonacci trade with 80 to 85 percent probability. And again, Melissa was asking, what does this mean? This means that compared to previous 50-50, you know, if the market, just an example, if the market is down in here somewhere, you know, so that's the C, and this would be the contrarian Fibonacci, so the sub D extension is below the capital A, for the contrarian Fibonacci to fulfill the sub D extension, it would or it should or it could break the A, right? The capital A of the original one, but the original one is stronger. 
make sense everybody when you have this kind of setups sub d it's a way it's above or below the capital a seven times out of ten this market when it start trending it's not going to go back anymore i mean it, it can fuzz a little bit up in here you know but it's not going to turn back make sense everybody this is what we are trying to tell you this is the difference when we say all right you have a conformity with the 80% chance of the market going your way. All right, everybody. Or this is a 50-50 trade, meaning the market can go up and down and it can go into deeper retracements. Does this make sense, everybody? So look at the picture and tell me, are any questions so far? <laughs> any questions? Don't worry, I have a 20 seconds lay on the chat. I'm chatting with Surat right now. Give me a second, everybody. So I should want you to test, make sense? If, the, if Darwin X accept, okay, then I'm going to open, I'm trying, I'm going to try at least to open it your name and if it doesn't work, then we're going to find other solutions. <laughs> All right, everybody, back at your class. So when you find the capital C, your stop loss should go 10 to 100 pips above or below the A of the original Fibonacci and you take profit should go 10 to 100 pips below or above the D of the original Fibonacci, all right? When you find the capital C, you should check the trend direction from the larger time frame. One more time, what are those alignments, all right? And then five, the last thing is, is you need to do is to identify in what zone are the Fibonacci's on the larger time frame. Rule for high probability trades, we should always enter in extension trades and in the same direction. All other trades are low probability trade. So, student traders, student traders, should you be buying NZD cat? Or should you be selling NZD cat? Talking about Fibonacci direction. Should you be buying NZD cat? So let's try to put those rules into practice, right? Let's try to put theory into practice. So we are looking to have a better chance. We are looking for alignment. We are looking for different time frames showing us more or less the same picture. Does this make sense? Boss, I don't understand alignment. All right. All right. Alignments are a question of multiple time frame trading, all 
right? So we talked about this three times already. We had three sessions about multiple time frames. So <clears throat> this is going to be the monthly. Down here is going to be the weekly. Up in here is going to be the daily. And down in here is going to be the one hour, two hour, four hour chart. All right, everybody? Monthly, weekly, daily, one hour, two hour, four hour chart. All right. Talking about a trend. This is the monthly, this is the weekly, that's the daily, and that's the one hour, two hour, four hour chart. Are your trends, <coughs> are your trends, in order to have a better probability, are your trends aligned? Type in the chat, everybody. <clears throat> Are your friends aligned? Not your friends. <laughs> no, not your friends. I didn't, I didn't say are your friends aligned. Are your trends? Are your trends aligned? Type in the chat, yes or no? YouTubers choose student traders on YouTube, please type in the chat. Are your trends aligned? Whatever you do on the one hour, two hour, four hour chart, I mean, whatever you do, it doesn't really matter if you buy or you sell. Are you having a great probability of success or are you having a low probability of success? Captain Suresh says, no, not aligned. No, not aligned. Anybody else on YouTube? So what if I change the downtrend on the daily into an uptrend? What about that? Would you have a better chance of winning whatever you do on the one hour, two hour, four hour chart? Everybody, what do you think? Would you have a better chance? Monthly, it's in an uptrend, right? Weekly, it's in an uptrend. So you have alignment between the monthly and the weekly. Now the daily is in an uptrend too. We have alignments between three different time frames, right? And of course, this is happens only once or twice per year that the one hour, two hour, four hour chart, and now it's aligned too. All right, everybody. So Fibonacci go in the same way. If you have original Fibonacci going up, let me change the, there you go. If you have the original Fibonacci going up on the monthly, if you have the original Fibonacci going up on the weekly, if you have the original Fibonacci going up on the daily, 
How do you think should you trade the one hour, two hour, four hour chart? Whatever the those chart is doing. Boss, can you repeat please? Sure. We are trying to understand what are alignments. So, if the original Fibonacci from the monthly chart is up, direction a b c d if the weekly original fibonacci is up up a b c d if the daily original fibonacci is up a b c d how do you think how you should trade the one hour two hour four hour chart in terms of whatever those charts are doing Because if you don't understand alignments, you could say, oh, the one hour, two hour, four hour chart is in a downtrend. So I'm going to short. Make sense, everybody? You are going against the alignments. No money for you in the Forex market. No consistent profits in the forex market. No professional level trading ever. Ever, ever, ever. Oh boss, you are so rude. I'm not. I mean, come on, this is common sense, right? Yeah, don't call me rude. The Fibonacci is up, you have an uptrend on the monthly. The Fibonacci is up, you have an uptrend on the weekly. The Fibonacci is up on the daily with the uptrend. And you are shorting the one hour chart chart. And you call me a root? I'm telling you, no money for you. Because you don't get the skill. It's not personal. Does this make sense, everybody? What you are looking at right now is the understanding of probabilities. All right? You can short the market in here and win once or twice, but I promise you, you are going to lose the other seven or eight times. Sort of saying buy on retracement and break on trade line. Very good, this is a setup. All right, everybody? This is what we're talking about from the picture. When we, we use the original Fibonacci to determine trend direction, then we compare trend direction from the larger time frame to the lower time frame. Those are alignments. This is an alignment. And talking about the contrary in Fibonacci, you know, when you find the C, you should check the trend direction from the larger time frame and compare it to the lower time frame prior to entering the trade. This is an alignment. So we're talking about alignments in here. Does this make sense? And the last thing you need to do is to identify in what zone are the Fibonacci on the larger time frame and the smaller time frame. Basically, what is the original Fibonacci doing and what is the contrarian doing? Does this make sense? So if you look at this picture, everybody, tell me, is the original Fibonacci, capital A, B, C, is the original Fibonacci in a retracement or is the original Fibonacci in an extension? <clears throat> There is no right or wrong, don't be shy. Wow, 
What do you think? What do you think? Captain Sturz's replacement. Well, in this sense, everybody, we need to have the understanding of relevant highs and lows, right? So if this is the, if you look at the B, so it's low to high, high to low, low to high, high to low, low to high. And then didn't the market make the new lower low? Didn't, didn't the market crown? Didn't the market crown everybody? See how easy it is to mix? So the market is still, an, the, the, talking about the sequence A, B, C, D, this market, it's just started an extension. It's not in a retracement anymore. Make sense? This is the relevant low. This is the relevant high. And now this is the new relevant low. So this higher, high, higher low, it's a retracement on the crown. All right, everybody. All right, enough of theory. Let's see. Ends the cat. Ends the cat. Ends the cat. Alignments. How should we trade ends the cat? No brainer. Everybody, what is ends the cat monthly chart telling you? Should you buy or should you sell? And we are here right now. If you want some help, there is my help to you. Lower low, lower high. It didn't form yet, but still lower low. So to have better chance, should you buy or should you sell? Clinton, I'm short ends the cat for our time frame. I entered very good, Clinton. Congratulations to you. So, talking about alignments, if we go, oh, that's the sorry, that was the weekly. I need to. That's the monthly, everybody. That's the monthly. That's the monthly, and I need to do something like this and that. There you go. That's the monthly. Monthly market wave. Extension, retracement, extension, retracement, extension, retracement, extension, retracement, extension, retracement, right? Give me a second. So because this was a higher high and then it pushed lower, then we have something like this. It was a higher high here, but then pushed lower. 
that's the monthly okay that's the weekly now what about the daily daily chart daily chart daily chart daily chart we are here Stop loss is 0 0.84. Very good. And take profit is 0 0.7. Excellent. Excellent. So, so far so good, right, Clinton? So far so good. 0 0.78. You need to readjust your take profit, everybody. Why? Because blue, blue goes to. Didn't the market hit the blue? Blue goes to blue, right? Blue goes to blue. So you should profit take at the blue, everybody. All right, Peter. If you ask me. If you are willing to listen to me, profit take at the blue or manage your trade, you know, let it run with some system, strategy, colors, whatever. All right, everybody. <clears throat> so, ends the case, it's a no brain, all right. This is the NSD cat, the original one. ABCD, daily chart, green goes to, oh, this is the, so that's the one, right? Give me a second, I need to do something like this. There you go. A, B, C. This is the Fibonacci on the market wave, so we can remove it. If you're playing the smaller one, then this is where you should profit take. Otherwise, it's down. It's 0 0.77, but it's 86, 0 0.86, 84. No, there is no right or wrong. Now, talking about probabilities, right? One more time, this is the capital A, that's capital A up in here, down here it's capital B, up in here I believe it's capital C, I'm not sure which one is the highest one, so yeah that's the highest point still, just for a few pips, that's the C. And the projected the extension is down in here. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to understand, all right, is this C conformed, yes or not? If this, boss, what's the difference? If this C is conformed, then this means that the price action it's not going to go into a deeper retracement seven times out of ten if this is confirmed you should short the market or you could short the market with confidence does this make sense we are learning in the Fibonacci Mastery course rule number one why people are not making money with the Fibonacci which has the which has a statistically proven edge it makes money it's proven you know and rule number one why people are not making money with the Fibonacci is because people don't believe in the Fibonacci now in all fairness nobody is saying that it's easy but if you go practice 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 all right 
So, contrary Fibonacci. Sub so A, sub B. We're going to change the colors. Contrary and Fibonacci, change the colors. And down in here is going to be the blue one. That's going to be the sub A. And up in here is going to be the sub B. Sub A, sub B. Here is going to be the sub C. Yeah, the same rules apply. Sub C is the, is the lowest point, not necessarily a low, inside the sub A, sub B boundary after the B before the market hits the appropriate sub D extension, which is up in here, sub D. Now, we need to confirm, did the market, did the price action hit? So, it, you can see it, right, everybody, with the naked eye, the market hit the sub D, meaning we need to readjust our Fibonacci, the contrarian, we need to adjust the contrary and Fibonacci in a downtrend, remember? The original is in a downtrend. So, sub A goes to sub C. Sub A goes to sub C. And sub B goes to sub D. Alright? So now this is the sub D up in here and sub C is somewhere in here. So this C was not confirmed. The sub D extension, the projected sub D extension is still inside the capital AB boundary. All right. So this market has a 50-50 chance to go down or to go into a deeper retracement, which it did. Can you see everybody? The market went down, 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 and reversed and whoop, back into a deeper retracement. Now, let's see if this, this is, everybody, what you're looking at right now, the smaller one is the Fibonacci of the confirmation which is we're going to learn this week, all right? It goes in the same direction as the original one, okay? Please don't freak out. We are going to call it the green sub, sub A, all right? Sub, sub A. And we are going to call it sub, sub B, right down in here. And somewhere up in here, we are going to have the sub, sub C, right? So when we are shorting this Fibonacci sequence on ends and decay daily chart, we are again interesting. We as traders, we are interested in understanding, oh, is this sub sub C conformed, yes or not? Make sense? So I'm going to use my, not to double write, sub A, sub B, sub B, whoops. Sub B, sub C. All right, everybody. Okay, that's the sub B. Now, question. One more time, where you should start charting your contrary and Fibonacci? Should you start from the first circle or should you start from the second circle? What's the answer? Catch fund trader Clinton, catch fund trader Suresh and everybody else online. 
I explained to you that the correct place to start the contrarian is the low or the high that is going to bring you to the C or the sub sub C or whatever. So is the first circle the right port to go with your ship? Or is the second circle the right port to go? Which one is going to bring you as the sequence of sub A, B, C, D to the sub sub C? What do you think? There is no right or wrong. What do you think? Second, second, very good. <clears throat> so then the sub A, the sub B is the first high as soon as possible after the sub A. Fibonacci retracement tool, contrarian, that's the sub C. The market did not hit the blue. So white goes to white and up in here, this is the correct sub the extension. New Fibonacci retracement tool, readjusting the contrarian Fibonacci in a downtrend. Remember, we are still in a downtrend. So that is the sub A, and sub B goes to sub D. Now, when you see something like this, When this happened, everybody, was your sub sub C confirmed? Yes or no? This knowledge, this understanding makes all the difference in confidence and in the Forex score 202 or Fibonacci mastery, it makes all the difference in making money. If you are scared, you are going to short the market risking 0.25% of your capital. If you are not scared, then you are going to risk what? Just an example, right? You're going to risk 1% or maybe 2%. Hedge fund Suresh says, yes, it is confirmed. See everybody? So it takes some time, of course, you know, this is, uh, um, otherwise this is just theory and it's just a class, but if you would study the charts and see how many times the confirmed C's or the confirmed sub sub C's win, you would trade with confidence, make sense? Whatever the strategy, whatever the entry setup, you would understand, oh, that this is an 80% chance that the market is not going to go back into a deeper retracement. The market is going to start to fall. Can you see it on the chart, everybody? And if you would risk 1%, you know, on this aggressive trend line, you know, would you make some good money in terms of percentage so far? Would you make some good money, everybody, in terms of percentage? Boss, this is difficult. This is difficult if you don't practice enough. Repetition is the mother of the skill. 
said Bob Proctor, everybody. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Do you know why? Do you want? <clears throat> You're going to hate me, but it's all right. This is the truth. Do you know why? Do you know why eighty percent of traders are not making it worldwide? Do you want to? Do you want to know why? I'm not talking about beginner traders. I'm talking about eighty percent of traders. They are not making it. They don't have the Lambos, the yachts. You know, they they don't manage million dollars accounts. They are what we call they are, they are what we call pizza traders. Do you want to know why? It's normal, by the way. It's not. It's it's normal. I mean, this is how we are programmed. By the way, this is a conversation that we are we are going to have in the forex course two hundred two. The reason. Why 80% of traders are not multimillionaires is because they don't practice enough whatever they should practice. Make sense? Trading is a combination of different skills that you should practice over and over and over and over and over and over. You know, you should do something 100 times, but 80% of traders worldwide are not willing. Make sense? Not judging anybody. This is the human nature. It's like you want to be a professional athlete. You know, you want to go to the Olympics, Olympic Games. You are all big mouth, you know, but when the time comes to show up and to practice, you simply don't show up, do you? Make sense, everybody? I'm telling you as a coach, I've been, I've been actively involved in coaching traders for the last seven years, and I'm telling you, I have those numbers and I'm seeing it every year. 80% of you guys out there are not willing to do the work. Don't ask me why, because I don't know, but I'm seeing the numbers. Only the 20% are willing to, to do the job and to show up and to be coachable. Captain Search is truly correct. All right, everybody, let's finish for today. See you back tomorrow. All right? Study the Fibonacci, study the contrarian, figure out how this works. That's on you. That's on you, everybody, to study the charts. All right? You, you, do you want a nice homework? Prove me wrong on those slides. You know, this would be a nice homework. Prove me wrong. Study the charts and prove me wrong that, oh, what Mike the FX boss is teaching on the Fibonacci is not true. Wouldn't this be a nice homework, everybody? All right, see you back tomorrow. Until tomorrow, stay strong and study.